Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Scorpio, it's all wild and unknown this week, my friends. I'm going to start with the wild and unknown Oracle deck, and then I'm going to get into the wild and unknown. I was about to say Tarantula. Tarot. What an interesting split. Tarantula and the mouse. Something sneaking up on you. The swan and the zebra. Just picture like the zebra coming to the pond where their swan drinks. Fire meets water, water meets fire. All right, let's see. What is the message for Scorpio? Hidden knowledge, a black egg, a hidden knowledge. All the violet energy is really pulling in like um, crown chakra here too. Yeah, yeah, hidden knowledge. The camel. I need balance. Is there some type of knowledge? Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I have to tell you what happened. This is my second attempt to record this video. And um, so I started out the video. Larry was laying on my table. It's the cat. My cat, not the cat. He's my cat. And um, the birds got his attention and he decided he wanted to come across here and he wanted to jump from the table to his little chair. I have a little chair over there for him so he can watch the bird feeder at the window. So I started doing your reading and I'm going to tell you the cards that came out because the message is still coming out. So even with the disruption, you're still getting the message, but you're just getting it with different cards. Um, long story short, when he jumped, he didn't land right. He fell. He fell and he got wrapped up in the, the little blanket that I have on his chair. So I just stopped the recording because I wanted to make sure he was okay. And he was. I don't know why now. He was on the couch looking at the bird and he laughed. So... I just thought, okay, I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to start the reading again. I was only like maybe five minutes into it. So you had, you pulled out the bear card and then your underlying was um, the hyena and the stingray. And I immediately heard um, the courage to, um, <laughs> the cur it's funny when the cards go away, it's like the download goes, the courage to, um, emerge the courage to emerge like the bear emerging right and then as i tapped into it a little bit more it was the courage to um reveal to reveal yourself the courage to reveal a plan the courage to reveal a motive the courage it was like the courage building up the courage to reveal something which is interesting because the black egg is honestly like about secret information secrets that we have um hidden hidden knowledge uh so i think that's kind of funny because that was like yeah there was almost like something to be revealed the courage to reveal something and that was the end of that <laughs> so just, oh my goodness poor larry and oh he's back you can jump up on the chair i don't know what happened there bubba what happened you're okay um but this is this is giving me the feeling like kind of weathering the energy of of this of cracking open knowledge cracking open some type of knowledge here the camel finds balance in an uncomfortable situation but this is like extremes you know you think of the desert it's extremely hot and then it's extreme well not ex it's pretty cold it's pretty cold but it would be extreme um i don't know how cold it gets in some of the deserts at night but i think it is extreme like i don't know if it goes below zero but Maybe it does. I have no idea. But it is extreme, right? Like in being able to weather that. So there's something here that you've been weathering that's extreme. It's kind of holding tight in the darkness. It almost feels like it's getting really uncomfortable to hold some type of truth back here. 
it's almost like it starts to like seep out of the membrane of the egg like all this light is glowing out of the egg it's like you know if you had a big secret or something like let's say um i'm getting kind of like this really beautiful energy off of it to be honest it's almost like if someone i'm picturing someone who's you know older and by older i'm gonna say you know anywhere you know between like 35 and up okay into the hundreds however old you might be but it's almost this this feeling of like uh i would say like you know when you're a little kid and you're like so in love or so excited about something but you're containing it and you're not going to say anything or um you know, so like you you go out and you you go on a little adventure as a kid and you come across this um house where somebody's just moving in and they had this old barn and stuff behind and you you know there's a kid out front so you start talking and like come and see come and see my backyard so you go in and they got like ponies <laughs> like, oh my god they got ponies and um but it's almost like let's say like you have a sibling at home that's allergic to ponies so your parents would freak out if they knew that you were patting the ponies ponies and now that there's ponies that live two doors down you're going to be there all the time like it's just like this energy is like oh my god it's oh my god i'm a squat <laughs> but and it's funny because it's like the extremes of that it's like this extreme joy two doors down over at the ponies but then well i can't say anything about it <laughs> oh my god i can't say anything but it's almost as if like you're sitting at the you know having lunch or in your mom or someone's looking at you like what's going on scorpio you seem different. No, no, not different at all. Like, so it's, but it's whatever this is, Scorpio, that you are hiding. <laughs> whatever y'all are hiding, you're, it's becoming more and more difficult to hide it because the light is like growing, glowing beyond the membrane of the container okay you're the container there's some type of knowledge or information or secret but it's a good one and i feel like there's extreme it's almost like you know i know it's popping out of the container i can't anymore but why why do you need to i don't know why like, because I'm guessing most of you aren't like 10 years old and two doors down, somebody moved in with ponies and your brother's allergic to ponies. So, you know, you can't pet them, but you do go and pet the ponies. And <laughs> like, everyone's like, I don't understand why your brother's become so itchy all of a sudden. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, I just heard it's okay it's like trying to put the genie back in the bottle oh my god I, I, it's, oh, I don't know what this is it just feels like I don't know whatever it is you haven't told anyone or you're keeping it a secret but it's like oh my god once this come so is it even associated with some sort of a wish or a dream the possibility of that being fulfilled or it has been fulfilled or right like oh my god they have ponies two doors down um but it's like well once it comes out it's out so you don't but it's like it's seeping out the light of it is seeping out so i really honestly feel like if this is your reading that people are starting to pick up on it. As scorpionic as you want to be, it's still seeping out. So, like it's almost something that can't contain. It's maybe even changing your aura, your auric field. And you know, if there's people around you that wouldn't, you know, they don't necessarily pick up on that, you know, I'm seeing an aura shift around you. Larry, there's squirrels climbing all over your tent. What are you doing? They're, they're, if they're not picking up this, auric field that's changed around you 
there's something. <laughs> something. I know there's something going on with you, Scorpio. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Because whatever this secret, this knowing is, um, it, it's showing on you. Okay? It shows on you. <laughs> shows on you. We can tell. We can tell that there's something you're hiding, Scorpio. But this is big. And you're being the camel with it. Or there's moments where it might feel so intense. And then there might, like, so, like, I can't contain this anymore. And then there's other moments where you might feel like, all I want to do is contain it. <laughs> I can't contain it anymore. All I want to do is contain it. Sorry, there's been strange barks lately, but I figured out what it is. Um, there's a lady, an older lady, behind two doors down <laughs> from me. She actually just sold her house, so I think she's getting ready to move. So yeah, somebody's coming over, I'm guessing, to help her get ready. And they have a dog, and that dog's bark is unfamiliar. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> look at you, the devil and the hermit, totally. Oh, your feet are on fire. Your feet are on fire. <laughs> you don't know what this is, Scorpio. Scorpio has a biggest freaking secret. But it's it's it feels like good news. Like it feels like good news. If this isn't you, I feel like it's around you. Is there somebody different? Is somebody acting different around you, Scorpio? Because somebody has really good news. Okay, this is even um like it's it's got this energy too. Like, let's say uh, you could be the the male, the man and the woman in this, okay? You could, um, in whichever one, let's just say it's a couple and she's pregnant. You've all been trying to get pregnant for a long time or you've, you've got one kid and you've been trying for years to have the second kid. And um, it's like she finds out she's pregnant. She does the test. And, you know, maybe she had, a, you know, um, a feeling that likely... Because I want to say, like, that's the kind of thing you're probably, I don't know, if you're pretty close with your partner, I would want to say that you're like, you know, I think I might be pregnant. Let's go do a test. But if there's been, like, a lot of, um, well, this hasn't worked out. <laughs> no, I'm not. You know, it's, well, no, no, I wasn't. It was just late. Or it's almost like that energy of, I'm not going to bring my partner way up here and bring them down again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, I'm going to go do a, do a test on my own. I want to make sure before I, I like, tell them. And so you do that, Scorpio. You do the test, and it's coming out like, boom, you're pregnant. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't want to crush him again, so I'm just going to make a doctor's appointment and get the blood work done and make sure, like, all the numbers are really good. You know, like, so it's like that. It's like there's, there's this feeling here around whatever this secret is that – your feet are on fire like trying to and when i say that I know, the devil's feet are on fire it's um and the hermit because you're like you're you're keeping something to yourself here and it's almost as if if a conversation was starting to kind of come around to it oh uh you suddenly become kind of busy oh, i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna da, da, da. You know, it's like maybe you couldn't get the doctor's appointment that day. Maybe you have to wait till next week and you're like, oh my God, how am I going to do? I can't. Oh, oh, we're going to have some wine with dinner. Uh, no. Uh, you don't have a headache. I just took a Tylenol. I probably shouldn't mix that, right? Why well, you do it all the time, Scorpio? <laughs> oh. Yeah. What is this? It's big. I don't know. It feels like big news with the devil and the hermit. But the devil is symbolizing like your feet are on fire, keeping some type of secrets, keeping something to yourself. And I want to say it might even be to the point where I'm not even going out. I'm not going to see anybody. I don't know. <laughs> it's like if it's that like your partner, um, you would maybe typically, I don't know, they're going to work. You have different work hours and they get up and go first. You would maybe get up and make them a coffee in the morning or you'll see them off and a little pick on the cheek. Oh, bye, honey. Love you. See you later. It's like you stay in bed. <laughs> I don't want to have any conversations with them because I don't know. Maybe you know it shows too. You're like, oh, I know. I know it's written all over me. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I'm very intrigued at this. What's this underlying? Oh, oh, it has something to do with the future. The two of wands. 
you're shifting in and out of very uncomfortable energy as you try to maintain some secret that has to do with the future. This is like really good plans. It's got rainbows. <laughs> rainbows. So two, I feel like because of the way that I described the situation, right? Like, I don't know. You can be whoever you want. I just kind of feel like, like if you're in a, um, a committed relationship with someone and you're both trying to have kids, um, you know, as the woman, you kind of, you know, like, oh, I've been peeing a lot. That's something else. <laughs> like, you get all these these symptoms that would be different. Like, you would start to know. So we do kind of have an advantage with that. Um, so you'd kind of want to share, but it's almost like, it's like, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not that you don't want your partner to know. So I'm saying partner. Maybe for some of you, this does have something to do with, um, like, something in a relationship for you. But it is really like, uh, I don't know. It's like you don't want to let this person down. It's like you don't want to let them down. So I'm going to wait until it's 100% foolproof. Which is like, I, honestly, with a pregnancy, it's like after the birth. It's like, it's like oh, honey, I know I thought it was weird you were wearing moo-moos for like the last nine months. And you just come home with a baby? <laughs> That would be like the biggest secret, Scorpio, if you're doing something like that. No, it's more like, okay, once I go to the doctor and they like they, they do the blood work and they say that these levels and that those levels are high, then I mean at that point it's kind of like, yeah, you know, no, I don't know. I don't know what this could be. Maybe it is something like that. Like maybe I just like spilled your beans. But yeah, there's something around this that i want to say too if someone didn't know you or your situation like let's say it's like oh god damn <laughs> you're maybe you you i don't know you can't get to the doctor's appointment it gets postponed it's just like this is becoming so difficult to keep this secret to keep something hidden it's becoming so hard <laughs> She's feel like a little kid right there. Like, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. My inner child, like, really came out there. I was like, yeah. I don't know. Because I'm really, like, feeling this energy. And, like, my legs are wiggling. You know, like, your feet are having to get this one anymore. I can't. I can't. <sighs> Stick a breath. Maybe that's the camel. And that's the camel, right? I feel like you, you, you ebb and flow here with this. Oh my God, I can't anymore. I can't, I can't keep this secret anymore. I don't know. It could even be like leaving someone too. It could be something like, yeah, I don't know. You know, it's a lot of different ways this could be, but it's like, you just can't, I just can't keep this secret anymore. Ah. But you see, then I kind of brought it down. I was like, okay, just breathe, just breathe. Just be in the moment and just breathe. Hey, honey, why are you breathing like that? No reason. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so curious. Am I? I am going to. I'm gonna ask, what's the secret? <laughs> secret Scorpio. I'm bad. I'm bad. Is the father a pet? Oh my god, maybe somebody is gonna be a father. The father put oh that's beautiful it's really like that like maybe it's even like a first kid too like it's it's, it's the energy of transforming someone right into father or maybe you're going to become a father and you don't know it <laughs> you're like what i'm not even married cindy i'm not even in a committed relationship you don't know which one swim and <laughs> swim oh <laughs> big the father of pentacles Maybe your father has a secret? What's going on here? I am totally digging out the tea on this one. Two fathers and a son. Two fathers and a son. The father of swords and the knight of swords. Oh my god. Maybe some of you, like if you were in the same sex relationship, you've been wanting to adopt. Because you share the same dream. Well, that's interesting share the same dream they both got like the rainbows 
Both these fathers are holding the rainbows. The Father of Pentacles and the Father of Swords. And then the Son. The Son of Pentacles. I mean, it could even be something like stepfather energy. Two fathers and a son. Could be as well. Um, I'm really getting like a family resonance off of this. Or creating family. Or creating family dynamic. Um through like a child, through the birth of a child, through a pregnancy. It could even be like, you know, two, it could be like your dad and your partner's dad becoming grandfathers or something. So there's a lineage here. There's something to do with a lineage. Let's get to know both father, shall we? Fathers. Okay, tell us about the father of pentacles. Do you have two partners, Scorpio? Oh my. Oh, that's really, that is really going down a Jerry Springer. <laughs> this is like two fathers? Who's your daddy? Is this a who's <laughs> Well, it's the egg. Who impregnated the egg? Is this a who's your daddy, Scorpio? Who's the father? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Oh, the Father of Pentacles has the world. Oh, maybe he's out. Okay, then who's the Father of Swords? Oh, the Two of Cups. What's the kid have to do with it? The Son of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The... Th Oh my God, the Three of Cups. What is this? This is totally a third party dynamic, but it's almost like a like step parent energy. It's almost like having the talk. Okay, we're gonna talk about this. Okay, now you got two daddies. Okay. <laughs> Why is the devil here? Sorry, oh. This is a big energy. The mother of pentacles. Okay, what? Oh, am I going to get another? Okay, why is the hermit here? Ooh, the hermit's part of the, um, the wish. Oh, I'm seeing something here too. Okay. Um... Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the devil is the mother. Oh, somebody's closing off a cycle in a relationship here. Somebody's closing off an unhealthy relationship. This is a little bit like somebody's coming out party. <laughs> There's another way that I'm picking this up now. This is like somebody's coming out party because, okay, if the mother of pentacles is the devil, right? This is like in the devil. It doesn't have to be toxic, but it kind of can be. If there's nothing positive to support it, it's probably not a very healthy or it's a very codependent um, committed relationship. And then the father of pentacles is like, well, that cycle's over. So this is no longer being the Father of Pentacles in some way. It's almost like even transforming into the King of Swords. And maybe this is to find like your person, like to really find your person. So I'm kind of wondering if some of you are um, have been going through like a relationship uh, dissolvement. Uh, mm, yeah, and then, okay, the Knight of Pentacles... This is like going for uh, being emotionally detached here, like not focusing on anything emotional, not investing in anything emotional, and then big, big emotional, ten of cups, going from the eight to the ten, and then followed by the three, with these three birds. The three birds is looking like somebody spreading gossip. 
I don't, it may not be gossip. It's just like, oh my God, did you hear? I don't know. And these two, really? What? No way. Oh my gosh. So what, is the, what are the three birds talking about? The seven of wands and the eight of wands. It's like hatching a plan. Oh, it's a black egg. Hatching a plan. It feels like hatching a plan. Like breaking something open here and moving forward. Hatching a plan. Cracking the egg open. It is cracking the egg open. The hermit is like um, representing a postponement before the before a very favorable destiny. Postponing before a very favorable destiny. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very interesting reading. I don't know if it was two fathers that came out. That's interesting. And one of them is done. And the other one is um, like the two. You have Temperance, Ace of Swords, waiting for the truth. Oh, the black egg, waiting for the truth. Waiting for the truth. Well then. Scorpio, I'm going to go do your extended. In the extended, I'm just going to, I'm going to pick up all these cards. And I'm going to use the same decks. I'm just going to do an open reading in the extended and see what we get. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.